Whoa. <laughs> I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. You made that joke in the last video. I know. It was just to reestablish where we are in the present timeline. Wow. So this is Anxiety's room. His room sure looks a lot like my living room. Like, what is this, the upside down world or something? <sighs> no, the room just varies based on whatever your present location is. One of the darker corners of my mind. The source of all my worries and fears and- Nightmare before Christmas? Oh, yeah, it does not get that dark. Oh, I love that. Yeah, spiders! No need to worry, Patton, that is just the pattern on the curtains. I am terribly afraid of spiders. I would like to trade places with someone. This room is literally covered in spider webs, and yet the curtains unsettle you? Well, I literally don't see any spiders in those, Logan. These curtains are literally covered in them. Why, those are just silly cartoons. They're not even realistic. But if need be, I will destroy them for you, Patton. Thanks, but let's call them what they are, Roman. Spider curtains. Creepy crawly death dealers. It, okay. All right, but like, if this is his room, where is anxiety? What are you doing in my room? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I think one of them moved. Anxiety? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you! That's weird. You literally all just screamed in unison upon seeing me. Sorry, it's just, you do this thing where you, where you just kind of appear? Wait, what am I wearing? What is my hair? Welcome back, Thomas. Thanks, Roman. Look, Ow! anxiety, you don't understand. Come on. For some reason, I wasn't feeling your presence at all. Yeah, I know. It's because I've decided to duck out. Quack. Wait, duck out? Quack, quack. That's a thing you can do? For this video, I guess. What do you mean? I removed myself from the equation. I quit. Decided it wasn't worth it anymore. Why would you do that? Well, it didn't seem like I was wanted. You all made that pretty clear any time I showed up. What? Except you, Patton. You're a funny guy. I love my dark, strange son. Well, surely you knew that we were just preparing ourselves for the worst part. Okay, uh, maybe I could rephrase that. Uh, we were just tensing up because we knew that something bad w uh, uh, look, it's just, you're never really fun. And Roman, shut up. Uh, look, I am the creative side, not the fluffy, cutesy, kind wordsy side. So, one would think that the creative side would be able to come up with a nicer way to talk to others. You'd think the smart side would know when to mind his own business. Okay, it's real sweet that you all decided to come for a visit, but if I wanted to stand around being insulted, I would have shown up in person like I usually do. Oh, you poor little anxious baby. Let's just face facts. You're better off without me. No, 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 that is where you're wrong. Very much so. I don't think any of us comprehended how much you factor into Thomas's decision making. Yeah, I mean, without you, he was acting like a, um, just a, like a big bumbling couch potato man. That, there's probably a nicer way to say that, but. Just an unfiltered, I'm just gonna come out and say it, a cotton-headed indie muggins. <gasps> that is enough out of you. Logic. See, he's reining me in right now because of you. You do talk too much sometimes. I never thought I'd appreciate you saying that. We've already learned that Thomas listening to me too much can be a problem. Same with Roman, probably even Logan. <laughs> Easy. Now, while I still have your attention, do you think maybe we could switch places? All right, I can't say it isn't nice to hear you all groveling, but I actually think you were right to not want me around. I've always aimed to protect you, but lately, it feels like I've been keeping you from doing anything. If your only goal is to protect, then why do you act like the embodiment of a dark and stormy night all the time? Roman. What? He's a creepy cookie. You're a creepy cookie, Anxiety. Roman. You're like a, an oatmeal raisin cookie that's primarily composed of raisins. A raisin oatmeal cookie. No one wants that. Pump the brakes, Princey. I'm sorry. You pump those brakes. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm feeling a little... Um, extra passionate here. When did you apply eyeshadow? I didn't. But does it look okay? Because a prince has got to slay. Of course it looks good. Why would you think it wouldn't? Do you have self-esteem issues? <gasps> Am I asking too many questions? Putting on a dark persona is the best way to get anyone's guard up. But all this reflecting and working on your issues with us has gotten me to think that I overdo it. You could never overdo it. Mm, well, you are perfect and special just the way you are. I don't care how dark your clothes are. 
You shine. Bright like a diamond. You, you okay, Patton? I just got a lot of feelings. Hey, Patton! Eyeshadow buddies. We are buddies. Look, anxiety, you're a natural fight or flight reflex. That's what you're instilled in humans to act as. And for some people, yes, you're a little heightened. But what's a little extra height, right? I mean, that just means you're tall enough to ride every ride at Disney World. Unless you're too tall and you get decapitated and it's a small world. Wow, sorry for that little tangent. I am reeling right now. The point is, too much of anything can be counterproductive. Well, yeah, but for me... Hold on! Yes, I'm about to provide more exposition, Thomas. Just bear with me. Okay. The relationship between anxiety and performance can be expressed on this curve, known as the yerkes dotson curve. It's named after the psychologists, R.M. Yerkes and J.D. Dotson. They Get on with it, calculator watch! Yeah, loud noises! Okay, up here is where you want to be. The optimum degree of constructive tension. Yes! Too much anxiety pushes us to this side of the curve and performance is hindered, which is less than ideal. But without you at all, Thomas is not just on this more relaxed, laid-back side of the graph, which is also not ideal when you're trying to get things done. He's all the way down here by the horn of a unicorn that was going somewhere. I normally would have fallen asleep, but I am not feeling like my fabulous self right now. I am bitterly jittery and not very glittery. So but with me, aren't you just always on the other side of that curve thing? Your thoughts in curve. Yeah, that. There's ways that I can work on that anxiety, but I'd rather work on it with you than without you at all. How? I just need to make you feel listened to. You're, you're like, like a really important alarm clock. Sure, the noise can be sudden and a little unpleasant sometimes, but it's important for me to recognize the concern, register it, and carry on changing my actions if necessary. You're what made Thomas double and triple check things he needed to study before taking tests. And also, you're that feeling of tingliness after achieving something he didn't think was possible. E equals MC scared. Sorry, was that too loud? I was worried I wouldn't get another chance to speak and I wanted to share my thoughts before I forgot it. Anxiety. In small doses, you're what pressures me to get out of bed, to get moving and doing stuff. I'm lucky to have you the way that I do. Some people have anxiety that's heightened to the point where it becomes an incredibly difficult and hindering condition. Whether it's a symptom of a different issue, or an anxiety disorder, or the unfortunate result of something someone may be going through. And I don't want to downplay any of that. But I think maybe I could benefit from trying to understand you better. I mean, it's cool to see you all trying to be helpful. Well, most of you, but... Anxiety, you're... What pushes Thomas to rehearse and rehearse before performances? You are that nervousness that he feels right before going on stage, but just as he does so, you ease up. And you let his excitement and passion for performance take over. I think that's as good a sign as any that you're willing to work as a team and that you make us better. Was that good? Did I do good? I'm gonna cry. I just don't want to lose any of you. Yerk Stotson! Uh, -oh. uh, what the heck is going on? These guys have all been in this corner of your mind for too long. It's, it's corrupting them. them. All, all their main functions, functions are starting to work to drive you far over to the other end of that curve. What? Hang on. We're getting them all out of here. Thomas, remember what you've learned. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold your breath for seven seconds. Now breathe out for eight seconds. Keep it up, Thomas. That's good. Keep going. <laughs> okay. <gasps> ah. That was a really risky thing you guys did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you were with us from the start, you'd have kept us from doing that in the first place. Being anxious about the idea of growing more anxious. Yeah, that sounds like me. You rescued me. Yeah, well... Fight or flight, am I right? Incredibly right. Just like you keep Thomas away from potentially dangerous situations, you also enable him to escape from the ones he manages to get himself into. I am incredibly proud of you, Anxiety. <laughs> Whatever. But I'm more proud of myself for enduring the Great Spider Threat of 2017. They were just curtains, Patton. You all went through that for me. Eh, don't sweat it, Brad. Pitiful. It was no big deal. It was worth it to regain my good old worry ward. That's right, and just like you saved us, it's the vigilant people that work the hardest to save the world. Sometimes it's better for a society to be anxious than complacent. Another thing, I lower all expectations for social gatherings. So if you do actually go out, anything remotely good will be pleasantly surprising. Oh my there gosh, you yes! Go. Right, not so bad. Party on, my dudes. Well. Glad to have you back, Anxiety, and I promise to make sure you feel listened to and strive for a better balance from here on out. And to all of you out there... Wait! Oh uh, boy, I'm actually considering it. What? What? You've kind of made me want to open up to you, but big surprise, I'm really anxious about it. Anxious? <laughs> like your name! Yep. That was, uh, that... 
you're great, Patton. But uh, actually, on the subject of my name, shut up. Oh, that's okay. No pressure. If you don't want to, Logan, shut your ever flapping gob talker. Okay. No pranks or misleading? Not this time. Oh man, why did we have to have a heartfelt moment? It's totally fine, this is a very accepting environment, but I have to tell you that I've been theorizing on it for a very long time, so if it's not exactly the name that I think it is, I will lose it. Okay, promise you won't laugh though? Well, of course not. My name... My name is Virgil! Okay, it's like a band-aid, you just gotta rip it off. Virgil? Mm. Oh, but that doesn't end with an A-N or an O-N. Shouldn't it be something like uh, Virgin? <laughs> Why is that so funny? Um, because, um... It's not. I think it is an awesome name. It's not what I anticipated, but I do like it. It's different, but I like that it's different. It was unexpected, but... It took a lot to trust us with that information. Virgil. Uh, you can call me Virg. Well, this has been a day learning to embrace all of who I am, learning new things about myself. Thank you for opening up to us, Anxiety. Uh, Virgil, Virg for short. Whatever. I'm at least glad I can offer some help, even if sometimes I can be hard to deal with. In Thomas's case, you are indeed manageable. Yeah, and you are nothing compared to the others. Others? What do you mean others? What others? Well, this is foreboding. Ah, it's nothing. So long! Farewell. Avita saying goodnight! What was that all about? <sighs> Look, I know I'm the one that's causing you to be suspicious, but honestly, table that question for another day. Gotcha. And Virgil? You know, it's really weird hearing you say that. Honestly, thank you for all of the good stuff that you do provide. You can be a good guy. I hope this helps shed light on some of the possible upsides of anxiety. Again, there are plenty of people out there dealing with conditions where anxiety isn't as easily manageable. And too much can of course be a hindrance, but for many of you, by taking time to accept it as a natural part of you, by making it feel heard and not letting it dominate you, hopefully managing your anxiety will get a little easier each day. Until next time, take it easy guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out!